be a part of 30 National Voters Day celebration. This year, the theme of Voters Day, nothing like voting, I vote for sure. In order to encourage more young voters to take part in the political process, Government of India has decided to celebrate January 25 every year as National Voters Day. It has been started from 25 January 2011 to mark Commission's Foundation Day. I heartily welcome you all. I request all dignitaries Mr. Madan Mohan CKAS, Assistant Commissioner Mangalore, the Chief Guest of today's program, and occupy their seats on the dais. Prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at His disposition and listening to His voice in the depth of our hearts. Let us unite our minds and souls in the presence of God to seek His blessing. I invite a team of students from MIT Shema to come up to the dais and seek the blessings of the Almighty in your melodious voice. I welcome you, sir. 
without much delaying, I extend my warm welcome to my dear colleagues, students, and press reporters who have gathered here. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I heartily welcome to you too. Listening to great people is always a pleasure. The audience will be looking forward to hearing from. So I call upon our today's chief guest, Mr. Madan Mohan, CKA's Assistant Commissioner, Mangal, to address the gathering.
they were uh, awarded also as a best uh, institute for spreading awareness among the uh, students. So I really appreciate what initiatives you have taken, sir. So I would request on behalf of the district administration that you continue your efforts and ensure that everybody who is above the 18, at least in Nite, are enrolled in the voter list and if there are any issues or any uh, concerns regarding the voter ID or any other uh, aspect, you can directly bring it to my notice so that we will be able to resolve your uh, issues uh, in the proper manner in a, uh, in, within the legal framework as well. So, once again, I am very thankful to the institute, institution and also to the, uh, especially Suma ma'am, she kept following up with me and uh, it, I was very happy that uh, she, I was, you know, uh, she asked me to be the chief guest. I said, I am a very small person in the system, but she said, no sir, you have to come and uh, address all the students here. So I will not take much of my, your time. In fact, I am also very short of time because we also have our uh, NVD celebrations of the district at 3 p.m. So once again, I thank each and everyone and I, can, I wish all the students all the very best in their career. And also, I would urge all the students to participate in the upcoming elections and cast their vote. And especially the institute, uh, if you can achieve that 100% voting and 100% coverage of epic cards from your institute, that would be a very big achievement in, in a way, in, in a manner itself. So once again, I thank everybody for giving me this opportunity. And I wish you each one and all a uh, very best in your career. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Certainly your words will go along in inspiring us to strive hard towards our profession. May I now request Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Vice Chancellor and Interim to the University, to give a token of appreciation to Mr. Madan Mohan. Part of this program. 
Registrar, Professor Harsha and my uh, colleagues and my dear dear students. Both of us are in a hurry because we had to reschedule. He has got a very important event in the Mangalore, uh, again, creating awareness about voters. But I had a surgery now. I have to go and operate a child with uh, adenoids, endoscopic adenoidectomy, because we had to reschedule. Because I postponed my surgery, he preponed his program. I'm very sorry about uh, going in a hurry. Uh, because child is waiting in the theatre, so I have to go there and operate the child. So that's the reason I will uh, thank Mother Mohan for coming and enlightening my young voters regarding the uh, importance of voting. I should congratulate the University Literacy Club, Voters Literacy Club. Uh, Suma is the coordinator and all other colleagues are there uh, from the Humanities Department. So, thank you very much for your uh, uh, very in involved activity in the campus. I am very happy to know that uh, awareness is being created among the students, particularly uh, young to young voters, first voters, as uh, Mother Mohan was eliciting information from you. And uh, very, I was surprised to know that uh, almost 40 to 50 percent of the students are not voting. And many were not enrolled uh, till about two years back. But uh, by consistent uh, work by the Voters Literacy Club, by the support from my faculty, we could almost 80, 70 to 80 percent of the students are now enrolled. Uh, unfortunately, there was a lot of cumbersome procedures earlier. Yes. Because most of our students are from other states. We have got students from 28 states and some 6 7 union territories. So it's just like a mini India, Nita University. So they have to get their uh, documents from their place and get deleted, then get enrolled. I think now the... I, if you have one minute, I can just clarify if you can give me the... Yeah, might give the mic. So that procedure has to be simplified. Uh, well, I Sir, I just uh, want to add, uh, there are various ways now, uh, sorry for interrupting, no. I know you are also in a hurry. Uh, just I want to make it clear so that there is no confusion. Uh, with regards to enrollment, it's uh, made very, very simple right now. There are uh, ways, where there is an app called Voter Helpline app. So each one of you can download it. It does not mean that if you are native of another country, uh, sorry, another state, you need not, you cannot be enrolled here. So that is a, you know, uh, uh, misinformation that has been uh, circulated everywhere. All you need to do is, if you have your uh, old uh, voter ID, you have to key in your voter ID number and fill up form A for moving into this particular state or constituency. If you don't have a voter ID, you can apply form number 6. So there are only two forms that are very important. Form 6 is for new enrollment and form 8 if you have an old voter ID and you can just fill in your details and you can change your address. Even with the letter of the college, it can be changed. So it is very very simple and you don't need to visit anybody or go to any office, you sit, you fill in your details and the voter ID will be, uh, you know, given to you through speed post also. Because earlier we had issues while BLOs had to give and circulate. Now the election commission of India has, uh, you know, made it very clear that every uh, voter ID, which is a citizenship document, shall be delivered through the epic, uh, sorry, through the speed post. So it is very, very easy. I, I hope all of you make good use of it, sir. And this is one small information I wanted to share. Thank you. Mr. Madhumon for that uh, enlightening words. Uh, I request all of you to get enrolled. This time on Nita University will have a drive. Make 100% uh, uh, literacy of voter uh, uh, joining the voters list. I uh, take this opportunity to congratulate. At the same time, take this uh, as a challenge, our literacy club. Take all the stuff and uh, we will make uh, students motivators and the best motivator who has done highest enrollment will get the university medal this time. So you will see that there will be inter uh, constituent college competition and the uh, highest 100 percent you achieve again we will recognize the particular institution. So I request all the coordinators to work hard and let us work towards getting 100% enrollment for voters, yes. 
Thank you very much, students. Thank you for participating in this program. Wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Now I request the uh, NIPE to propose vote of thanks. Yeah, um, after the vote of thanks, there is one skit, so please don't make it um, be here. Good afternoon to everyone gathered here. Respected ladies and gentlemen, as we have come to the end of this program, I, Dia Ajit, from NIT, on behalf of the Electoral Literacy Club, feel honored to extend the vote of thanks to the gathering. My special thanks to our dear chief guest, Mr. Madhin Mohan C. KAS Assistant Commissioner for accepting our invitation and gracing us with his presence. Thank you, sir. I take immense pleasure in extending my sincere thanks to our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Vice Chancellor, Nitya Dean to the University, for joining us amidst this busy schedule. Thank you. Sir. I would also thank Professor Dr. Harsha Halahari, Registrar of Nitya Dean to the University for giving us this opportunity and encouraging us. Thank you, sir. I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank Ms. Sissuma and Ms. Nodal Officer, Electoral Literacy Club, Nitya Dean to be University, for guiding us and constantly supporting us in this program. Thank you, ma'am. The late American President, Mr. John F. Kennedy, once said, an event, uh, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. So, an event like this does not happen overnight. It takes a lot of planning, preparing, and hard work, for which I'd like to acknowledge the committee members, staff, and students of all the Nete universities, uh, institutions, and, and extend my heartfelt thanks to all who have made this function a grand success. Thank you. ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ 
ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಓ ಹೌದಾ ಹಲೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ನನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಿತ್ರರಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾವು ಕೊರೋನಾ ಆಗಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ವರ್ಷಗಳಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ಕೂಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ನೋಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ನನ್ನ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸಿಗೆ ಹಾಯ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಏಳು ಹೆಸರು ರಾಣಿ ಏಳು ಹೆಸರು ರಾಣಿ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮುಪ್ಪತ್ತ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದಲ್ಲ ಮೊದಲು ಕೊಡ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ 
ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿ ಯಾರು ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅವ್ರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವನೇ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿ ಸರ್ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಬೇಕಾ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಬೇಕಾ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ವೀರಬಲ ಮಾಬಲ ಸೀತಾಫಲ ಏನ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಇದ್ದು ಏನ್ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವರು